Check, 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 check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mr. J Hill, I'm in the building. Shade, aka Healer Bay, in the building. Episode 018. It's 18. We almost had that wow. 20. I told y'all we having a party permitting that Rona leaves because. You know what I'm saying? It's only 10 people. Nah, in nah, here. but yeah, you know what I'm saying? 10 people in here and no more people than 10 people. Yo, with the coronavirus, like, what's, what's been. Yo, the week has been, like, kind of slow. It's just like, ugh. Get me out the house. I want to hit the streets. <laughs> I belong to the streets. Shout out my guy. Yo, shout out to my guy, Big Holly, man. She belong to the streets. She belong to the streets. You I belong to the streets? What? I thought we were singing. Oh, all right. You just Little always... baby, she a freak. I'm a freak? No. Nah. <laughs> What's up with shit you want? You just was singing a song. It's a song. But then when I said it, you said you belong to the streets. When I you said it, you said you a freak. And I said I'm a freak. You said no. It's but when I said I belong to the streets, you said you, a, you belong to the streets for real? Come on, make your mind up. You can't be dibbling and dabbling. You gotta come on, stick to the script. Come on. Okay. So, you know, the coronavirus has, you know, just damaged everybody because now I feel like I got PTSD. Like, <laughs> at this point, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know if I should go outside. I'm scared to go outside. When I step outside, I feel guilty. Do you feel guilty when you go outside? Fuck no. Oh. No. When guilty I, for what? Only thing is guilty is the cologne. <laughs> Come on, man. Gucci. <laughs> that's the only thing that's guilty. Who the fuck bought you Gucci? I just bought you YSL for Valentine's Day. Where you get Gucci? That's from? some old shit, babe. Where that's, we talking that's, about that's Gucci? Guilty? Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's old life. You're not even wearing that. I'm not. I'm wearing YSL. That's it. That's I'm all I'm wearing. I'm really confused. <laughs> that's all I'm wearing is YSL. Continue on. So, boom. You know, coronavirus has really affected me. I just want to let y'all know that I really feel bad for a lot of workers because finally I felt it in my work. So shout out to all y'all who has have to take off of work, who's losing business, who has to wait till this is over to keep your business running, that has to constantly deal with just like, just the backlash of this BS. Like it's unfair. I'm finally feeling, feeling it. Just a transparency moment. You know, I work for the government last week on Friday. They hit us, was like, hey, we're taking y'all salary. Y'all are part time. Mm. So I'm part time, but I'm a full time bitch. So it's lit. It's okay. I'm going to have a good time and I'm going to enjoy my part-time work. And on Mondays and Fridays, my emails are off. So they better not call me, period. <laughs> you love that, period. I love being a city girl. <laughs> yo, all right. So for me, like the, um, yo, coronavirus really, it, it kind of affected me because niggas ain't trying to pay for <laughs> shit, period. Like, I'm it ain't look, affect. I can't look at the live because tomorrow is the live. Sorry. Oh I'm sorry. God. I'm not gonna look at the live. Come on, come on. I haven't even looked at the live. Don't look at Shout the live. Shout out to everybody Don't that's the tuned in though. Don't look at the live. But yeah. <laughs> so nah, so so honestly, <laughs> the um the coronavirus affected me because like niggas just don't want to pay for shit, period. Right. Like we saving our money. I've been serving. doing I've been doing like content, but niggas ain't paying for shit. So my best bet at like this entrepreneur life slash like creative life, creative life is to get motherfuckers to watch YouTube. Yeah, right. But YouTube ain't paying shit. Like they for a million views, I think you get like a thousand dollars, if that. Mm. Like, nah. So if if people don't know, so thousand dollars in a million. Yeah. So I did a million views on um my uh, freestyle video. You can look it up, No Ghost Rider. And I think I got like a thousand dollars for for my million views. So like, yeah, that's how it was affecting me. But um, for creatives, like like I see a what I will say is getting a lot of niggas followers. The DJs is winning right now. Like I need to like have a like I need to learn how to DJ because DJs is is up right now because like niggas is doing live parties and yeah. nigga the nigga they DJ D nice I didn't even know maybe I needed to know yeah. I didn't know who the fuck yo was yo gained like three hundred thousand followers bro he had a hundred thousand DJing on live bro he had a hundred thousand followers on his live so shit was crazy he's a popular <laughs> DJ though he's now yeah he's a pop old school New York DJ yeah. that's what. Tim and them said my alarm mm. brothers from yeah, New York. Yeah, I seen a couple of people talking but about it. But still, he gained three hundred thousand followers. Oof. Gained three hundred. Sign 000. me up, Easy. DJ. You ready? Mm -hmm. Get we gonna get the equipment. Ever ever. <laughs> now I'm gonna stick to hosting. All right, boom. Well. Check check check. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, <ain't> that shit. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Let's get into this podcast. Okay. All right. So first of all, I just want to shout out everybody in the building because all my bitches in here working. Shout out to Melrose on the face. You know the vibes. Mm -hmm. Um, she definitely just came in here, be my face. I got my girl Janae in here, patiently polished for the nails. 
I do not have my nails done and she just cussed me out, but she definitely just gave me a mani um, because, yeah, Rona. So uh, we also got Coco in here on the lashes. My lashes is given three, but it's okay, Rona. So, you know. <laughs> no, she said she won't hear that. She's still doing lashes. <laughs> She's still doing lashes. All of them are still doing work, actually. Well, no. Nah, it, it's cause... me that's affected by the Rona. Okay. I'm right. poor. <laughs> I'm not spending any money. Not trying to, anyway. Um, so, but all of that, everybody in here, we got Tyrone in here, we got Wyman in here, Monique on the hair pink celebrity already know, straighten me out because I was looking crazy. Your makeup looking good too. You see me? Yeah. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Get into me. You look good. Okay. So, you, you know. your makeup? Yeah, Melrose on the face, oh, you already oh, know. So, yeah, we got Jewel in here, Alex in here, you already know. Producers is in here. We got Hookah, the what? The Hookah Godfather catch 22 in here. The Hookah Godfather. He might got a coin neck phrase. The Hookah Godfather. I just want 10%. Catch so, 10%. That's a lot. 10% because I gave the name. Yes. But yes. that's a lot. He got the product. 8%. What? So. <laughs> More like 1.5. Like, if that, like, yeah, damn. A mi so. What's 10% of a million? 100,000? Yeah, damn. So, you know, the whole team is in here. We definitely got a big bang on the team in here. Only 10 people. Again, don't call the cops. So, you know, boom. All right, let's get into this, man. What's um, up? Where we at? What's up? <sighs> so, the topics we... today. What is the topics today? Today. It's going uh, down today. All right, so I'm starting. Or you going? You going first? Uh, okay. What is my topic today? How to keep things fresh during quarantine? Fresh, fresh. Take a shower. That's please. How you, that's how please, you keep it fresh. Please. Because I'm trying Take, to go. Please. Dive please. Me. Oh, What's oh, up? Hold oh, on. Let's oh, talk about oh, that. Hold oh, on. Oh, oh. You want to dive? Let's talk about how niggas take three days to take showers because five. Five. Yeah. You talking about keep it fresh so you could dive in. I mean, five days for a shower. I mean, Jay, I know you're not working and you are not. You are working, but I know you're in the house, but I mean, come on. So I mean, I want to dive, but I can't like so dive in a so, lake. I need a clean. So, so you aura. about to, so you, so you about to, you about to cap for the cameras basically. What? Cause we didn't have sex out of the club so many times. No shower. What's the club got to do with it? You took it. You probably took a that's shower the that dirtiest. Morning. You took a shower that morning. But I'm though. sweaty as shit from the club. A, I mean, a little sweat is okay. I mean, at least five, five days. Five days I, I of sweat. God damn, you're sweat. a mud pool. I, I ain't sweating for five days. I ain't really sweating. For, I probably sweat more than in, in one night than five days. So you trying to say for five days you ain't filthy? Probably. What they say? They, they always be like. It's cleaner than the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> they always go pass some shit to your toilet. Like your dog's tongue is cleaner than your toilet. Like the fuck? I'm than still ain't looking. I have no fucking. <laughs> I'm cleaner than the toilet. Girls is not trying to have five day give five day head. Okay, five Let's days talk about later these braids head under your wig. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? Niggas always want to joke. I'm just saying, like you know what I'm saying. Tell me something. Talk to me dirty. I mean, the motherfucking cornrows. <laughs> First, the fucking ball, motherfucking. I'm just saying. My, what? You probably had the bitches in for a month. I ain't never say nothing about that. I ain't, no, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. My waves, my 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 braids is turned a into old. waves. That's what they did. <laughs> <laughs> the bitches turned into waves, sideways, like. You, you I mean, so I ain't know. You ain't had to put me out there. I ain't take a shower in five days, but it's all good. Five days in waves. Fuck it, nigga. We out here. Yeah, because I'm going to put them motherfuckers was... back. You better not cut your head because I'm smack. Grrr, I'm smacking that motherfucker. <laughs> I love you, though, but you look good. Girl, she did you. Girl. Mm. If I had a blunt, <laughs> podcast would be over. <laughs> going back to the last episode, <laughs> podcast would be done. This is a wrap. We out. Turn the fucking cameras off because you're really wild. Like. <laughs> So no, no, no. My fucking I, braids in my wig. First of all, you don't see them. Period. <laughs> what, what what braids? The braids is here, not right, here. Can we get into the podcast though? How, how do we keep it? Okay, fresh, all right, boom. How do we keep it fresh in a relationship during quarantine? Because honestly, motherfuckers get on my nerves. So who get on your nerves? What? The house gets on my nerves. You, no, you stop Amaya, the negativity everybody. already. I don't like it. It's just that the energy the thing is off. Is... Get the sage. You know what I say. When you get this, you start he saying shit, you start sage. coughing and Hold shit. On, Jay That's never, her, like she's the devil. He didn't even know the word sage until like until he met me. So like, I'm glad you know to get rid of your demons, but don't talk you about sage. You're a demon. No, it's you because you, you don't even know. All right, okay. 
So like I said, okay? Like I said. This little shit, man. God damn. Let me take off my other earring because they keep flying out and I'm about to fly off on Jay. So. Damn. So how to keep it fresh. Shit. How to keep it fresh during quarantine. All right. So there's a couple things where I would want to say is, first of all, I definitely think people need to take ample amount of time for themselves. Jay has created a whole office in our closet. And he takes time over there. Big office. Over there. And I take time over here because, you know, when I'm at work, normally I miss him. Like, I can miss him while I'm at work. We don't see each other for eight to ten hours a day. And I'm like, damn, I miss Bay. But when we in this motherfucking house all day, he's just here. Like, you're just here. Like, here. You're That's right crazy, here. That's crazy because our experience is way different. But it's cool. Keep going. Elaborate. What's your, what's your experience? It's your turn. Okay. So, boom. Because he spends a lot of time in the closet now. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to take hey yo oh my god i don't i'm not in no closet you spend a lot of time in the closet come out the closet hey day. yo come on pause yo what did you say pause? day nobody paused this nigga when he was coming from my pro, my cornrows so we're not gonna pause a, you just said i'm in a closet <laughs> The closet in the room, y'all. In the room. No. In the room. I'm not in no fucking closet. In the room. Okay? In the room. Closet. So, he's in the closet. I'm very much on the couch. Come on. He be in the closet working. <laughs> y'all don't like that either? No. All right. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, what I'm trying to say is Jay takes time to himself. Niggas I get to stop. take. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas gonna stop calling me Closet Jay. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, my God. Closet man, Jay. Woo! So, Jay just be taking time to himself. Yeah, let me stop playing with Bay. Bay, you don't be in the closet. I'm just joking. Come on, drink, drink. Come on. I just drank, Bay. You don't need Come to on. drink. You ain't put your cup yet. So, he just takes time to himself so, you know, that I can take time to myself so that way we still try to find some time in between. So, I definitely think is to find a special happy place in or out mode. the closet wherever you want to do it separate from your partner especially if you live with them because honestly i just think you know a part of quarantine where we're all going to be affected is kind of like and we'll talk about it a little later but just like a mental health tip like you know what i'm saying it's just a lot to already have to deal with the quarantine and knows what it comes with especially if you are challenged by anything work related or just life related by the quarantine and to be thinking about that to not have no space to breathe, to not have a moment for everybody to just have some quiet time to themselves, to do whatever they want to do, think their thoughts, and somebody not, like, interrupting that or, you know, whatever. So uh, one thing that we do right now is just spend time. Like, if he's in his space, I don't bother him. If I'm in my space, he doesn't bother me. Well, last night, yesterday, he definitely was bothering me. But ma majority... What? I was trying to dive in. You was stiff arming me. Because you were in my space. You know so, what? I know what it is. Finish, though. Finish. What, what is it? No, finish. But that's really it. Just I think a big thing how to keep things fresh is taking time to feel like you pretend almost like you miss them because they're not directly in your face. Like, I think a lot of times we get some time apart. Like, I'm running my errands. You running your errands. Like, you, we don't need to be joint at the hip you know what i'm saying we just need time and time is okay why the fuck are you sitting back what's your problem because you're the most full of shit is motherfucker i've met yo what i do sometimes you need time you can pretend to miss each other <laughs> i'll be trying to take time so i can leave the fucking house you'll be like no we together all the time, 24 motherfucking seven, when right? We're not ho, ho. When, I'm, when I'm at work and not teleworking, we are not together for eight to 10 hours of the day. That's what I said. That's a huge gap. It's only 24 hours in a day. Jay works 24 hours in the day. Right, so let's get this. Let's, exactly. Let's, let's get in perspective, please, right? So look, let's talk about it. Okay, fancy. <laughs> nah, because look, I work a lot, right? But because I don't- All day. Because I don't go into Every a- Every second. Because I don't go Even into in a- Even in the sleep. Because I don't go into a fancy office and work, right? I feel like Sade don't respect my work, right? So what happens is Sade wants me to be free when she's free. So I'm working, literally, like I'm working all day. Literally, <clears throat> literally what the fuck ever. So like, I'm, I will come home and I'm done. So like, if niggas don't know, fuck it. I do Uber and Lyft, you know what I'm saying? On the side, for real, to get 
to pay the bills because sometimes it's entrepreneur life just ain't paying the bills. It is what it is, right? So I do Uber and Lyft, and even if <clears> I do <throat> have a nine to five, I work during the day, right? Mm -hmm. And when I'm done working, I'm not the type that's not gonna. That I'm not the type that's forgetting about my dreams. That right. ain't me. Right. You ain't about to see me go work yeah. eight hours, come home and go to sleep and like yeah. ain't, that ain't me. So as soon as I'm done work, I get off of work, and I'm going back to work. I'm editing. I'm I'm filming some shit. This will happen. I get off of work. Shall they come home? Shall they want to spend time? I'm still working. I don't give Shade no attention. Shade is upset. But now, Shade is teleworking and she's home all the time. He's like, yeah, we need some space. You need to be in the closet. <laughs> Cut the shit the fuck out. Okay, so just listen to So basically, you don't have time to have a girlfriend because that's all the fuck I heard out of that. You he was like, I get, I go to work all day. I come home, I Uber. After that, I go back to dive into my videos. So where the fuck is my time? I'm a full time job. Full time. Check in, clock in. Motherfucker, we live together. You part time. Y'all gonna head out? Everybody else gonna head out? Cause I don't understand. Explain. Let me explain. We're a team, right? So being a team, we not dating, and I mean this, right? So we're a team. So because we're because we are together, we have to understand one another. So you know, my career takes a lot. You know that. You know, bills take a lot. So as my woman. I would expect or I would hope you to be like, you know what? I understand it's a lot, so I'm not going to be an extra burden. So when he's working, let me help him work. Not saying you don't do that, though, because you do that. You do that. Uh -huh. No, I, I ain't going to take that. I'm not. I, never, I, 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 I ain't what? never going to take that away from you. No, you do. You do. Oh, okay. 100%. All right. So you what are we talking about? What I'm saying is it be you times. You need more. No, nah, no. Nah, Go nah. all the time. No, no, no. 24-7. I would never no say that. No time for you. Work for me. No, nah, I would never say that. Pay me. I would never say that. What oh, I will okay. say is sometimes you get impatient. I'm not, I would never take that away from you. Okay. You cook, you cook, like, I ain't never going to take, like, I'm never, the cameras, I don't need that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't never going to take that away from you. But sometimes you do get impatient. You Fair know what I'm saying? I do get a little impatient because, you know, I'm human. And sometimes I definitely want more time. You know what I'm saying? Not 50% work for me, 50% be my girlfriend. I want 80% girlfriend. Like everybody else. That's not an entrepreneur. But we not everybody else, though. I understand we that. We not average. I understand that. But sometimes. I, I can't even get, I can't. So, I. Uh, Picture this, right? So because everybody's like, I'm going to hit out, right? Let's let's paint this picture. Let's say I give, and, and I'm not saying it's right or wrong, because a lot of people say you got to put some time, you got to dedicate some time for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Be careful with that. Some people say you got to de dedicate some time for yourself. Let's say if I was living like some people or everybody else, right? Right. I don't even dedicate time for myself. Fair enough. Right? So we're not, it's not really joking. It's, I, I really yeah, mean yeah, this. No, it's yeah, like yeah. for the camera and yeah. for IG Live. It's right. real talk. I don't even dedicate time for myself right. because I'm dedicating time to the work. Right. And some people that's will fair. say that's not healthy, whatever the case may be, but I'm right. doing the best that I can, right? right? So imagine if I'm not giving... You do the best that you can. Right. So if I'm not giving time for myself, you know I love you. Yeah. And it might sound crazy, but you yeah. know what's up. Yeah. If yeah. I'm not giving time for myself, what makes you think that even yet, we're two two years, right? Yeah. Uh, let's say I, I haven't gotten to that, that, that stage in my life yet. If I'm not dedicating time for myself, what makes you think that I'm going to dedicate time for somebody else? Fair. Fair. Understood. Understood. Right. And we're continuously working on balance. So we're working on it. I'm still going to get irritated because, yeah. And I also feel like if that's the case, then when I get irritated by it, and sometimes understand. understand. Yeah. Be right. more understanding. Yeah. So Because, for example, <clears throat> on Saturday, I wanted to go on a hike. Jay well, had I to didn't work. know that, though. And, you, you, and I didn't know he had to work at 10 a.m. So I, I think I'm trying to be... I think I'm trying to be, you know, surprising. So I wake up early, take a shower, get dressed, and I wake up. Told you last I night, though, Jay, I said, Told you last night. But you ain't tell me it was at 10 in the I day. I told you I work at 2. At 2. You never told me it was at 2. I told you. told you. me I had an interview tomorrow. Normally, your interviews are in the evening. Right or wrong? Just because this new Rona <clears> happened, I don't know that the schedule changed yet. Okay? Okay. So, boom. So I wake up thinking I'm doing something cute. I get up. I'm like, mm, I'm going to take Bay and my on a hike. So I wake up like, come on, Bay. Let's go on a hike. And he's like, I got to work at two. And I'm like, Pause, the fuck? Up. Oh, my God. So I'm on Instagram live from my phone. <laughs> 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 At least you can, you know I'm a faithful man. Dude, can I just tell the chat 86? <laughs> like, yo, listen. I'm on Instagram live from my phone. So like he's not ready to hear that. Shut the fuck up. So how about that? All my Who's text talking? messages. Kevin, oh, Hush. <laughs> like y'all are really wilding right now. 
Get off the live. Matter of fact, exit the chat. It's not even on live. It's like, like yo, my text messages is it's everything is coming up with God's screen. So it's like, I just want to talk about Wow, I'm glad you ain't saying no wild shit. I need to my Lion Brothers 86 real quick, cause like at least I'm faithful. I so ain't no more. business gonna see, come across my one, screen. I wanna see one. I more. can see number somebody on Instagram live with my phone number now going to take me from random number six and wild shit just to try just to try to take it there. Oh look anyway, at him try. Anyway. He tried just in case. All right, whatever. He just tried just in case. All right. Somebody might from another screen get on here and I don't even play them type games, girl. You know. I know. Don't I got a play. faithful man, y'all. Somebody about to download the text free the, the Look, look, the you text see he's free. still prepping. <laughs> he's still prepping. You wanna know about sex now once see the plus. Cut it off. Mm. Anyway, anyway. You, I'm sorry. So yeah, so long story short, he dubbed my plans. I got really irritated. I walked out, I slammed the door and I left. Mm. He hits me like, What you slammed the door for? Cause I'm fucking irritated. You know, so, you know, patience, patience on both sides. Uh, so from my, my perspective from this, right, let's go into this. <clears throat> Shade in the beginning of the conversation, she was like, you got to take some time. And remember, I came here last night, right? And I was on go, right? So, you know me, I'm a guy that's really always trying to, like, if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going I'm to do it, right? But my last week, um, what do we call it, Alex? My last week goal was two rounds in one setting, right? <laughs> so I know I was winding down. I was on the last day. So I come in the house, and the first thing is in my mind is what? I want to go two to rounds. Fuck. You know, I'm trying to get the fuck in. But he waits till the last day. Because I the fuck, last he was working, day. right? So the I'm trying la- okay. to get my two rounds in. Mind you, I so was just like, like, no. No. Uh-uh. 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 That's because she's a hater. No. She's a hater. She didn't want me to get my goal in because she knew I was really about that life. She's bullshitting. No, the problem was. And I'm like two rounds in one setting. She's like two rounds in one setting. Nobody. <laughs> Tevin, get off. So long story short, no, that's not why. It's because you waited. You wasn't thinking about it the whole week because you wasn't thinking about me. You was working. We got right? it in a couple times. Fuck you mean? No, I, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying you ain't want to go two Somebody rounds. Somebody rocking, nagging your boots because you was asleep. Fuck you mean? I ain't had to go two rounds. You was slump. <laughs> what you mean? Don't play with me. Don't play. Only for these cameras. <laughs> Fuck you mean? <laughs> nagging, rocking, nagging your boots. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, wake up. Jay's What's your dead body? Jay's full of She's shit. She's He's full of shit. Shut the shit. Cut the shit. Cut the shit. Jay. No, no, no. You got to cut the fucking day. cameras. So, so you going to say, when you were going to say the other day, you wasn't ass butt naked in the bed. Like, and I'm like, cover up, cover up, sis. You looking like Winnie the Pooh. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? He just really tried to play me. Like, in front of everybody, nigga was snogged. I'm like, come on, sis. Cover your shit up. Like, you know, the kids is here. They could bust it at any moment. He just <laughs> dick slanging like this. <laughs> like, like, fuck out of here. He really plays a lot of games. Point being, he said he said two rounds all week. He waits till the day before the that's podcast. When I was mind ready. you, mind you, that's when he was ready. I worked all day. Like, and I mean I do mean. He was work. on the couch. On no, your computer, uh-uh. watching prison break. You're full of shit. Yesterday, you wasn't doing nothing. yesterday on a Saturday, no, the fuck I wasn't. I got up to do our hike that you canceled. You had to work. I was so you didn't work. So I, so listen, no, I, pay this, attention, this everybody. I got up work. to do a hike that no, a hike that idea. I that I canceled. So she ain't do the hike. This is my idea of work. Okay. You canceled the hike, but you came in here setting up a whole new set for your new project. I'm in here assisting. That sounds like I'm working. Day. Okay, but I was assisting, and I was in here. I took the kids for ice cream. We went out. I went to the grocery store. We had to get the food for the brunch. The prep today day i came in here still made everybody's plates everybody got food then i sat down i was tired Congra- and then you came in here like congratulations your girlfriend and a mom oh child I so at the end of the night i yet. came Let me, hard, so at the end of the night i came to come and conquer and you stiff on me you i wasn't. did because i was tired so so, so 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 i got an excuse my excuse was i tried to get my two rounds in in one night it's not an excuse because you had all week. You had all week, but if you wasn't ass naked on the bed, you could have won another round. You was asleep. The fuck? I mean, I was asleep a couple times. I mean, times, you could have woke me up, though. This is your goal, not mine. I mean, you could have gave me some Your goal. And just to tell y'all, y'all okay, just to help Jay out, just to help Jay out, my goal was to go to the gym. I didn't go to the gym no week, <laughs> no day a week. So I put on this quarantine weight, and it's just going to have to get the weight is given. We're going to try this again next week. And I've been in here cooking every fucking Man, I'm day. I'm cooking the fucking. I've been crown. cooking We're every day. Fuck you, mean? At the podcast, get out. 
Get he's the fucking on his step own. Because we after the podcast, three. I'm going to still playing. be in here getting drunk. Right. Sunday ritual. Somebody now you're rocking your boots. Who sing that? Look that up. ASAP. ASAP. There we go, Tyrone. All right, oh, boom. so that's what we have to go. My bad, my bad. Let yeah, me get go. To, get to, get All right, to the so, fucking point. All right, so I'm talking about... um. <sighs> How much time is too much time? You know what I'm saying? Like, we talk about mental health, right? And uh, social distancing, and because of the coronavirus, like, what is too much time? And we we talk about that for far as your topic, kinda. Right. Like, what is too much time together around each other? So I just think like the same point you made, how you don't take time out for yourself. I think too much time is when you don't take time out for yourself and you keep giving it to everything else except mm-hmm. for yourself. So now everything just has too much time, to be honest. Like, I think that there has to be a fair balance of my time, mommy time, free time, my time with you, mm-hmm. et cetera. So I think too much time is when it's going to feel like always too much time when we're not dedicating some time to ourselves, because now you don't feel like you have any free moment. You better get the pot. You better get the pot and girl. They know they get the. On, they know they get the snapping when I'm the still, snapping. I'm still ain't giving no time to myself. Yeah, my well, time. Honestly, we're working on that. I'm no, working my, on my that. My personal with him. time is my work time, though. I know, but I have to yell at Jay to get off the computer so much. It's not even funny. That's my personal time. I know. That's fine, but you need some time to meditate because you're crazy. All right. So, all right. When it comes to the, so because we're everybody's in the house, right? Is it do how much time should we dedicate to our significant other? Like even not even on the coronavirus. Like on a regular? Right? Yeah, I mean, regular. when you live with each other, it's yeah. really it like we're always gonna see each other, but I think I think time accounts. What's considered what? What's considered personal time and okay. what's considered like the same way regular. okay, so the same way you work eight hours. So let's just put it in a perspective, right? People say eight if you hours, work you me to eat. Right. Whoa. All right, go ahead, go ahead. So you work eight hours a day, right? Commute time we're gonna just put in an hour before and an hour after, right? Mm-hmm. So that's 10 hours a day. When you come home, I, I, unfortunately, ideally, you have to eat. You got to prep yourself probably for work the next day. But they always say, you know, you give a couple hours to your business. I think it's the same thing for yourself. If you give two to three hours to your business, you got to give two to three hours to yourself to rejuvenate, mm-hmm. to give yourself back to the business be, right. or to work or mm-hmm. whatever, which way you put it. I think it's the same amount of time. I'm drinking. I'm drinking. You are. You know what I'm saying? So I think that two to three times out of day for yourself, two to three time, two to three hours. Time, hours of time for your business, and then two to three hours of time, significant other or family time. Because sometimes you're gonna have to compromise and join it. Like it's gonna have to be joint. Like sometimes I have to spend time <laughs> with my and Jay at the same time because there's no way to split it. Because if I split it, somebody ain't gonna get no time. But I still have to make sure at least, like for example, I have to take a. I'm gonna have to take a couple hours out for just Samaya. I'm gonna have to take a couple hours out for just Jay. Boom. What the fuck you got to say now? Nah, he so I'm, always confused. Nah, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be times where I'm like, I dedicate time out for my family, right? But Shade will be like, I mean, that was family time. I still want some. Other yeah, because I said you still have to give a certain amount of time to me. The same way. All right. So first of all, I'm not giving two to three hours of my work, though. It's way more than that. Ex- point proven, Jay. Okay. So do you count time like sit watching TV? Is that personal time for your significant other? Cause no, because I'm watching my own show. But and I don't care if you're there. But I don't care if you're here or not. I'm going to watch Prison Break. The fuck? So you think we should be more intentional with time, basically? Yes. So should we have a schedule sure. on a fridge saying this is day time? I bought a calendar. You I have bought- yet to use it. I bought so if I do partial of the work by the calendar, at least you could do is put the motherfucker up. So, but so I could write on that, it. That, that, put that, the calendar up. It's that, sitting on the counter. That goes. That goes to expectation again. If I never use the calendars in my life, so when you yes, a, you have because when we first got together, I gave you a calendar. Go ahead, Jewel. All right. So I want to chime in. Do y'all really feel like that's realistic though? Because I feel like life happens. Thank and that's you. Always going to vary. So I don't think like so. Schedule set. Oh, it don't have to be. Three, we're going to be together. It's right. Not. It don't have to be a schedule like because a life is going to happen, but it's something a guideline so that you can always go back to. That's same way if I'm at work and I got uh eight things to do they're not highest priority but I need to get them done okay I just know that when I come back after I cross on things I might get tied up but when I come back okay that's the next thing on the list so my thing is if you expect it you have to provide it so but then also sorry to cut you off but then would it also be a continuous disappointment if, it, if he's not or if you're not meeting that standard or that standard? Um, that's what- well, what I was going to say, if, if you expect it, you have to provide it. Right. So if, I, if I'm the one expecting you to give me extra time, I should be meeting you more than halfway, because first of all, you're not the one that is 
used to do, giving the time, right? So you're not, because you're not using that and I'm expecting that and because we're a team. If it's not a team, if it's an individual thing, you can expect what you want. But if it's a team, we help each other out, right? So if I, if you know that I'm not used to this, right? And I'm not saying that I can't get better and we can give a deadline or whatever the case may be, right? But if you expect me to give you time, you have to help me along. Okay, okay right? so, you so gotta, that's bullshit. So let because, me finish. All right, finish. God damn, you ready? I sure like, am. Damn, so, I so sure am. Because so he's full of so shit hypo, right I, now. I, hypothetically, the picture goes like this. Cap, I want Sade. Cap, I want Sade. Cap, I want cap, more time cap. from Sade, right? So I buy the calendar. I'm going to write out the calendar, and I'm going to put it on the fridge. And I'm going to say, babe, this is the time we should spend together. Tomorrow, I'm not going to wait for her to fail. I'm going to be like, babe, don't. And honestly, I'm going to be realistic, right? So me, I might not say, don't forget we need time today. But what I will say is, babe, when you get a chance, look at the calendar. Right? And and, and that might that might be a, a wrong for me because like that's for me, that's me trying to like give you a hint. And if you don't do it, then it's your fault. But I could, I could say, let me, let me hold myself accountable. I could be like, babe, don't forget, I look at the calendar, we need personal time today. So I'm just, that's just me. Go, I just go, feel like, go, okay, go hold, on, hold 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 on. I feel like this, okay, I get the calendar. I also make sure Jay has a calendar for work. On top of that, I have to do all my duties and I have to make sure to write on the calendar so that we can Only take time. If you want that. Okay, okay, I do. So, first of all, it's it was something to help. I never said directly that I need it to go that way. What I said is, here's a calendar. I'm gonna buy the calendar. Maybe it will work, right? I buy it. Neither one of us touch it from that point fine however if i get up whatever and i surprise you with a hike and you're not available then you have to come back and surprise me with something no because, yes because do how you, do we not i don't have meet? to so you don't have to surprise me but you can be like all right babe i didn't get to do the hike but let's get to do something else but what if your schedule isn't um I'm to cut the mic. what if your schedule isn't conducive for surprises it seems like both of y'all both Jobs. Jobs. Jobs, on jobs. jobs on jobs, jobs on jobs, and then y'all have y'all like separate entrepreneurs. Right. Dreams. So it seems like the surprises don't make sense. The calendar is cool, but maybe intentional like date night is cool versus like let's schedule time to watch TV because that ain't going. So make a, a rule, a, 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 a plot we had before was we were supposed to is either day date or J and I times on Sundays. What happened, Jay? Thank you. I don't have to say anything. All right, we're doing a we're doing a podcast, right? Okay. Is that my time? No. So did you pick another day? See, what is a see, I look at it as a teamwork because thing. is that so is it because so, I because you know she's see, about, again I think he got to pick it because no, I, I'm playing devil's advocate. Why he got to pick it? Because I've already been intentional on trying to get him on things that he doesn't he can't make. I have time. Jay don't have time. So if you know. That what you've been doing before ain't working. Give me another solution. Why he that works for him? Because it's something I tried ain't working. Did I don't you, have all the answers. Well, did y'all communicate about that? Yes, we communicated on it all the time. We communicate on it all the time. <laughs> all right. You okay. Communicate so all the time. But do you honestly think you've done the best? Does Jay think he's done no, no, the best? No. Is he being no, no, 50? No, 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 no because it, no, because what y'all not going to do, hold up. If I'm, no, because Jay has to meet me too. I'm not going to be the one getting the calendar, trying it out, making a solution. Give me a solution. So, I, hold on, I never said you personally. Said right? It's not that he has to, saying, but if I'm not getting met, I'm going to stop too. I'm talking to the, like both of you as a team. We, we've talked about you guys being a team multiple times. As a team, have you done the best as a team? No, we're still working on that every so, day. Nobody's so done the best. The thing is, you guys got to figure out your whatever your, your communication language is because figure out how you guys can communicate how you both feel about what you want. Because especially now with things changing, I think the roles in your relationship have, may have changed because he was more of the stay home, like not really stay home, but he was home more than you. So now that you're both home because of this unfortunate situation, things have changed. So whatever you discussed before isn't the same premise it is now. Yeah. So now you sure. have to look at everything which you're at now. For sure. And have a different conversation. No, that's for sure. Agreed with that. Agree with that. Agree with that. What the fuck are you looking at? I was letting you finish talking. Buddy. I'm done. It was your topic. <clears throat> All right. So basically, what I think, um, I don't, I don't really know what's what's too much time because me, anytime that I have time, anytime that I have to spare, I'm trying to like kick it with my girl. But the thing, my real question is. What's considered time with your girl? Because me, I consider any time I'm with you, it's time. So if we're watching a, a, a movie together, if we're watching a, a TV show together, if we're going out to 
to I don't know um to uh the grocery store together if we're going out to get something to eat like just take out I consider all that as I time. don't think that's time. I think we live together, like you said, and that is something that we do. We're going to go to the grocery store together. If I'm sitting on the couch and I'm watching my show and you come sit down, we're, we, we're in the same living room. So where is the intentional time so is what I, I'm trying to say. So moving forward, right, to make this better, should I, instead of, like, instead of coming to the living room and watching the movie with you, should I say, bae, let's get up and go out? Because you might not even be. Sure. All right, okay. I ain't even going to go and continue. Sure. All right, so we, that's, to make that, to make better of that situation next time instead of coming into the living room and saying watching the tv i should be like yo let's go out let's if i got time to watch tv i got time to take you out sure cool got it but uh, we good that's we good i was about to say something but y'all y'all got it all right we, that's so so can we write that down we're gonna make intentional time so if i have time enough to watch tv with you i have time enough well, to go out with you i'm a scorpio so i got attitude what? Y'all done got. I thought we came to the conclusion. I thought we was good. No, because I think but, to add on to what Shawty was saying, I think what she said, because I agree with what she said. It's not about just like y'all live together. So her seeing you every day, it's not about that. But I agree with what, what's your name again? I agree with what Gigi said about the, like the intentional date night. Now that could be a solution, but that's not going to fix everything. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so it's like, that's one step or one part of what you guys can be doing to make intentional time. But then I also remember you saying earlier that your personal time is when you're working too. My time, my time for myself. Oh, let's talk about how the other times we spend and you're working while we're spending. Yeah, so I was about to say, you gotta, yeah, thanks, nah, within nah, yourself, yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. like take some time 100%. to kind of separate the two. 100%, 100%, 100%. There we go, now I don't have an attitude. Nah, Thank but you, Jewel. I, I definitely take full accountability for that. Thank you, Jewel. You're welcome, Paul. Thank you, Jewel. <laughs> <laughs> no, Meanwhile, you asked a question to Shadi. She deflecting like a motherfucker. It wasn't deflecting. It wasn't. It wasn't. Def it wasn't deflecting. All I, I, I'm gonna speak Meanwhile, my piece. I never said why. I said, you know what? That's I'm your take, business. Take, take how I how, how I re respond is my business. That's your business. No, it's our business though. Okay, how I respond is my business. It's our business. Fine. <laughs> like it is. Though. I'm about to get an attitude again. Come on. Hey, so after this segment, we're gonna let y'all wrap up the live, but then we're gonna keep rolling. Okay. Okay. We done. All right. So look, man. Um, make sure y'all tune in the Gemini Scorpio podcast. We're gonna finish the show, but you gotta rap, you gotta watch the rest. You don't get the whole show. Come on, man. Come you on. You gotta watch it on YouTube or listen to it on Apple Podcasts. Get our that. numbers up. You know. Tune in. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. We about to keep going. Uh, we, we out. We at um. Shade. Boom. So. Oh, this is. Oh, it's lit. <clears throat> you go back Where my, my phone? phone? Ninety-seven oh. viewers. <laughs> Hey! Shout out to the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can, you can. All right, so I got some questions. All right. Keep passing it up. So it's my segment. It's my segment. You can toss it. Okay. So here we go. Okay. Now uh, again, we do this with the mindset, no relationship. We're just this is out and open. However you are, what's your response? You know whatever it is okay mm -hmm. okay so the first one mind you again don't think about this being a relationship just answer mm -hmm. okay so settle for someone with many qualities you like for a relationship or be with somebody you just like without any qualities that you like in a relationship wait say that one more time babe. <clears throat> settle for someone with a lot of qualities that you do like for a, a relationship but you don't like like that or be with someone you do like Second that one. without Second any qualities one. you need in a relationship. Why? Because I'm not being with no, nobody I don't like, period. Okay, good. Are you in I'm good or I'm just fine person or are you in I need to get this off my chest? Damn. So, I can't say both. No. Or. So, so I'm going to say um, or, I'm good, I'm just fine. You're going to say you're good, you're just fine. Yeah. Why? Because I, you don't need to say everything. It's just doesn't permit for you but to I'm talking about on an average if this is just how you are not every not picking and choosing everything <clears throat> I'm still overall I'm, I'm good I'm just fine because I learned from my want to give her everything off my chest okay well are you the type to invite a friend to a party to not invite a friend to a party because another friend doesn't like them or everyone just gonna have to be okay and that's your business yeah which what's yeah it, it might be C what the fuck is C? <laughs> Cause see, I just might not. I might go by my damn so. Cause yeah. like I, I'm a type of person. Not one of nah, nah, so you so pick one of the so other. if I had to pick one or the other, everybody gonna have to come together. Boom. Cause I got some friends from New York, and I used to. I remember. I swear to God, before I got online, we used to. They said so. New York niggas, I ain't gonna lie. Like they're like the most. 
what's the word like not considerate but like they just got a lot of rules in new york right so you like in new york like you're not supposed to like invite and this might be a real rule it might not just be new york thing right i'm just my baltimore and i might not know about it right so when i first met my line brother gq i never figured he was going to a kick over a kickback or whatever and he was like i gotta ask my friend is it okay for you to come and for me i never ever 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 heard of no shit like that because in baltimore you bring your nigga and if your nigga on some bullshit, you get your ass whipped. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, so your nigga better not be on no bullshit because if I met him through you and he on some snake shit, you getting your ass whipped. So that's just how I was. So when I went, when I met GQ and he's like, now nah, I got to ask my friend or my friend don't like everybody, just everybody at his house. Me, I'm like, if my nigga, my nigga, I can bring whoever I bring because he know that I'm not going to bring nobody on some fuck shit. And if I do bring somebody that's on some fuck shit, I'm going to get my ass whipped. So I'm going to say everybody's, that's just me. Let me say that. Okay. <clears throat> Boom. So. A pretty girl with bad head or bad hygiene and good head? Oh, pretty girl with bad head. Because what y'all fella realize is, you can teach I mean, that's, let me ask that question. <laughs> it's such a turn. I'm, I'm going to ask you right, let's, I'm gonna ask you finish. So a pretty, pretty girl with bad head. And I got a question to ask. <clears throat> All right, well, hold your question. All right, so it's your first time having sex with your newfounded partner, right? Mm -hmm. She give you porn star, over the top, immaculate boxing head. Mm -hmm. Keep her or toss her because she a hoe. I'm keeping her for sure. I'm a grown ass man. So my question is, come on. Man, this might shake some feathers. Ooh, okay, come on. It's a lot of pretty girls with bad head. Ooh. Y'all think y'all doing it good? Who the fuck you talking to? I mean, I'm just talking to pretty girls about it. That's All it. Right. How do you teach it? How do you tell a girl? Nah, not a girl. How do you tell your girlfriend she got bad head? Who buddy? the fuck is you talking to? I'm asking a question. Oh, I just want to know. How do you tell your but girl? A, not a, just a girl, because a random girl. No, you got to answer what type of head I give right now, since you bring it up, because I don't play them games. Come on. Because if we're talking about the podcast, which one is it? Babe, I'm already going out it's on like the talking ahead. about the sex. Like, come on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. You already got me out my character. Like, All right, God, do your thing, do your thing. Just joke it. For the record, I don't need no answers. Thank you. Go ahead. How do you tell your girlfriend or your man he got bad head? Because sometimes oh. if, this, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a, 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 if we say a chick, you could be like, look, man, you got to do it like this. But if it's your girlfriend so or your man. What, if, what about just telling them what you like? Like if you are somebody who likes, you know, certain things where like, you know, but I, I like when you do this. Mm -hmm. Or I like when, you know, I like when you just so talk like as this a, as like a, whatever. A, as a person, not even a man. Matter of fact, man, I'm going to ask Alex. As a man, the Alex said, "I'm like, huh? <laughs> is it not? Is it not weird to try to tell a girl what you like, like her, how she should suck your dick? Because then it's like you're kind of gay at that point. Really? Why are you like, gay? I want no. you to suck my dick like this. No. Why are you gay? Because it's like you, you gotta explain how you want your dick. Or sucked. just like, just do it. Like, can you? I, I want don't my know. dick sucked like, and you gotta do the. What nah, about I don't think. I mean, I feel like you." Unless you are, nah, you know, <laughs> like tell her what you want. So, period. so you like, tell your girl to like, you yeah. know, double hand, shoky, shoky, straight up. What's up? What's uh, wrong? I mean, I don't think, or you I just would, gonna be? Cause it's kind of weird. Like, are you babe, content with mediocre? I want you something nah. magic, like. Look, I don't. I want to be faithful in a relationship, and that's one of the things that could deter me from being faithful in a relationship if you're not showing up to the occasion fair all right so at the end of the day i'm gonna do what i gotta do i mean you gotta do what you gotta do we're gonna have to communicate and if i'm not showing up i mean but i say be honest though. But, if it's something that you can fix you know what i mean but so, if it's but something, what do you say though not not like what do you say like do you be like hey like, can you or do you mind if you or, or you could be like i really like when you that, okay you know what i'm saying i really like you know, what you, did they say positive what affirmations did, in a way they, what if they never did it But like we should try. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Like we should try this. You know, you should try. All you should try right, this. All right. Maybe. Here we go. Here's there we question. go. Here, here's my question, right? So, in the midst of the situation, sorry about that. In the midst of why y'all doing what y'all do, do y'all express dirtiness to each other? Do y'all talk dirty to each other? Because I think those, that's also the moments in which that will come out. Right. That's true. Because I true. feel like you sit on the couch saying, "Yeah, man. You know, I love it when you just, you know, 
do the car wash. Like, no, that's just, just it just Bill don't, the car wash. it don't do, you know what I'm saying? Like, but what I'm saying is like, I think in those moments, in those intimate moments, those are the times where you express, oh, okay, if she wants you to eat it a certain way, you eat it a certain way, or if she, and he wants you to suck it a certain way, he, he tell you at that point. Okay. And then in that go. moment, you already know that that's there's going to be some direction. Boom. Got it. Makes sense. Okay. We All got right. That. You like that? All right. Come on, your turn. What's your scenario? All right. So, um, my scenario, if one of us, right? Right. Or you're in a relationship and somebody gets significantly ill. Mm-hmm. How do you like deal with coronavirus not, ill? Yeah, that that or it could be worse, right? But how do you how do you deal with them? And to add on to his scenario, like it's, this actually happened. Like I don't know if y'all R. P. to B. Smith. Uh, she had Alzheimer's, mm. um, and oh, there was I a lot of stories that were coming out because her husband had a yeah. partner yeah. while she was still alive but then you know because she was forgetting him and so couldn't was do a was, the home, a family friend. was a family friend and also white <laughs> that there, she was white yeah. and they were both black so he could she couldn't produce for her. i mean she couldn't fulfill his needs he said i'm a man i still have needs so what do you do mm. so your and partner has an illness that I, AKA, and I can't fulfill, and you fulfill, can't fulfill. Your, your needs you about to leave me? You so, okay, fuck another so, nigga? Uh, he, I didn't you even just do a nigga like that? I didn't even say anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so I'm going to just keep it 100, right? For me, for me, for me, right? Um, Are we married? No, we together, right? Two years. Two years? And the relationship right now. And you get something that's not fixable? Yeah. It can never be, could be fixed. Never could be fixed. And it alters, like, our relationship Everything. in a way we can't have sex, yeah. we can't. Yeah. All right. So I'm just, you know, this is just for the, you know, the young women out here. No, for you. No, I have to say no, this. No, fuck the young women. Out. To we talking about women. you. We talking about you. And All right. Relationship right now. Two years. Yeah. Right now. Not to, right now. No pressure. I'm not married. I'm not married. So because I'm not married, I'm going to decide to stay with you. <laughs> Is that the truth, sis? Is that the truth? <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> what? I, I'm going to stay with him, but I plead the fifth to anything so else. So you're going to cheat on me, basically. I didn't say I was going to cheat. I just said I plead the fifth. It's cool. You know, you know, you know, you know. Are you so, going to marry me? You know, the, you know the downside of we always talk about how we can't date a woman with children, right? Mm-hmm. Or you can't date a man with children. We always talk about that. Who that says com- that? People have that com- those conversations. That conversation does happen. Yes, often, yes, right? Yeah, I yeah. say that. You know, the plus side of dating somebody with a child is... What? You can go about your business. Right. Because me and Amaya are going to be straight forever. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, that's... So, I'm just like... They've they been trying to get rid of me for the whole day. I'm just day. saying, if I, if I get sick and you decide to cheat, she going to hate you. Because she going to be like, Dad, you left my pops... She she's gonna say that. I think I think she. I feel will like you're it. trying to guilt trip me. And I just I'm not like, trying to guilt. No, no, I don't need no so guilt this trip. This is all I'm gonna say. You I'm just saying you can if, go do your thing. If, if I was me, mind. if I was like somebody else, fuck them kids. So so Jay, you saying that if she was if she was sick with something that was going about to Thank kill you, her horribly, mm-hmm. you know, about to take her out. You stay until I die. Staying, basically, you and then when I when I die, then he gonna go. If she's sick with something, yeah, I think I might wait till she passed away. Now listen, so I say Elaborate. That, I, I, I say that to say I say to say because one, it's it's different for me, right? Like that's I mean we're we're talking like that's not my child, you know what I'm saying? But it's my child now, right? Yeah. So because I have a child now, I have to like everything is far is far past just me and Shade. Right. Mm-hmm. Like even the moves mm-hmm. I make when I'm out. If I decide to break Shade heart. I gotta look at Amaya. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. So like every now, now that that affects her when she grew up, right? Mm-hmm. So if her mom's is sick, yeah. If her mother is sick, right? And yeah. if her man, yeah. And I leave her mother while she's sick, yeah. And I call it my daughter, yeah. What the fuck you think she gonna look? Right. How you think she gonna look at me? You know what I'm saying? Agree. So it's like, yeah. so it's yeah. like, yeah. I'm gonna have to take that on the chin. Yeah. Yeah. I might not want if, and this yeah. is any disease, whatever, like what, whatever, right? I have to take that because that's my woman, and I want my my daughter to have a man like me. And sometimes being the right being yeah being the right person or being a good person mm-hmm. is hard yeah mm-hmm. because doing a good doing the right thing mm-hmm. is, is is not easy yeah you know what I'm saying so I would decide 
to do quote unquote the right thing. Not saying that that's the right thing that everybody got to do that. But for me as a character thing, I will have to you're do that so because. So basically, you're gonna wait till I die, take my beneficiary money because you're on my life insurance policy, and then you're gonna go be with somebody else. First of all, your beneficiary money is gonna go to Amaya. No, she has her own. Damn. I have two. For real? Yep. Sheesh. How much? <laughs> How much? Yo's trying to kill me. Yo's yeah, trying to kill me. Show him how much. Nah. He's trying to poison me right now. I'm saying, I'm missing. We know who did I'm it. I'm gonna make sure. I'm, listen, I'm gonna make sure. Nah, literally, like what I'm gonna do is, even the money that if, if the money that go to me, first of all, we should talk about that though too. Um, where we at, Alex? Fifty. All right. So the money that go to me, I probably do something to inherit to Amaya anyway. Like I'm gonna probably get a house. You know what I'm saying? Like that's gonna go to Amaya. I mean, yeah, I might, you know what I'm saying, trick off, but it's going to go to Amaya I when I go, off. when I die. I mean, I'm just saying, real talk, though. And Amaya, that's for Amaya, the money that's for Amaya is going to go strictly to Amaya, right? And that goes on to a different conversation, and I know we got to get into the terms of topics, but that goes into a different conversation of, like, what if your partner don't have that, like, because even in the current, um, the, the, the corona, during the coronavirus mm-hmm. pandemic, we see a, a lot of entrepreneurs, as myself, yeah. we not living how we should be living yeah. far as, like, long-term goals, yeah. right? Like, a lot of us don't have health insurance. Yeah. I'm talking about my entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we're chasing this goal and a, and a lot of us don't have that life insurance, health insurance, and we don't have the money to even set our partner up to succeed if something tra- traumatic happens mm-hmm. to us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, let's talk about that. It's not even, like, a question, really, but, like, mm-hmm. well, how so, do you feel about that? Well, you know, I, it's something that I've expressed to Jay, you know, In a way, not like an attacking point is just like, you know, that's just something that we have to work towards. Like, you know what I'm saying? If they don't have that, like, or one of those things, you have to work towards it because it is a safety thing. Um, You know, at the end of the day, like I always tell people, like I change my life insurance policy all the time. So, and I do that because it's really just depending who's closest to me at that time, because that's how I know Amaya is going to be good or not. Like, so for example, when I was roommates with my best friend, my best friend was on my life insurance policy because that's the closest person to me right now. So because Jay is the closest person to me right now, I put Jay on my life insurance policy because anything could happen to me at any given moment. I have to have a proper funeral. My daughter has to be, you know, straight up good. Like everything has to fall in line so that she's good. So Jay is on my life insurance policy. When we spoke about it, I told him like, you know, I do have these things, you know, and for security reasons, I think this is important that we work towards you having these things so that way, like, for example, like, you know, life is happening crazy. You see people are dying from the coronavirus left and right, like, for real. If something was to happen to Jay right now, I, like, I couldn't pay for his funeral. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, his, you know, just to be real, his mother couldn't pay for his funeral. Like, it would literally take probably all his line brothers pitching in, everybody pitching in, just to make Jay have a decent funeral. Niggas got to remember, flowers at a fucking funeral cost. Goddamn, like, let alone a casket. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's something we had to be real about. It's like, look, you may not have it now, but we have to work towards you getting that very soon because Mm -hmm. God forbid something, you know, and it was another topic when he was working heavy in Baltimore. Baltimore is just what it is. I was like, look, you going to these clubs at night, anything could happen. We have to be secure. Like, I can't be left with, you know, we in an expensive apartment. We doing it together, but you leave, like, that's going to put me in a bind, which is going to put my daughter in a bind, which is going to, you know what I'm saying? You got all these bills, like, you know what I'm saying? That I'm going to have to end up cleaning up. Like, so you know what, what I'm happens, saying? So, so I think, that's something that we, you know, that I think that just has to be an honest discussion in any relationship in general. In, like, our, in our relationship, right, I think that mm-hmm. it's been, like, evident that, like, you've seen me making steps towards to uh, even oh, yeah. help, right? Even if it's not to get yeah. health insurance, it's stuff to, like, get out of the club yeah, scene yeah, in Baltimore, Yeah, right? yeah, for sure. What happens when you're in a relationship and those steps aren't being met or aren't being moving forward like just to be honest i think like it's you 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 have to voice that it has to be taken serious and if it's not being taken serious they don't care about your security and anybody who doesn't care about your security does not care about you Mm. period because you shouldn't be thinking like you know like first of all shacking up is already a sin so that's already one right i mean no we ain't about to go into that no i'm dead everything is a sin okay that's fine but one of them is already this right so we're not married you know we're not even talking from us but we're giving advice to somebody else y'all not married um y'all already living this lifestyle like that means it's it's really useless there's no there's no goal there's no end goal there's no future because not only is your security jeopardized and they don't care about your security but 
realistically, y'all just really doing this right now. Y'all just fucking living together or being doing something, and none of these things are in place. Mm. None of these things are in place. They can't possibly care about you if these things aren't at least being in steps to getting fixed. And I wouldn't recommend being with anybody who doesn't think that it's, they should start taking that journey to delivering that security. Okay. Let's go on to the tr- tr- trending topics. Let's go. Oh. Um, Boom. Closing with all focus. That's important to you. Oh, oh shit. That's I'm reading notes. <laughs> all right. So, um, oh, boom. Ari Lennox and Lakeith. Oh, I watched it yesterday. I thought it was the cutest thing. I just want to say is I still don't know. Even after going to the space, who the fuck is Lakeith Stanfield? Wait, that's the guy that played in, um, like get out with shit. So he was, in, he? yeah. So he was the, he the, looks so different Remember when they took the picture of him and He's then he the, like, he froze and he was like, get out, like get out to the guy. Oh, he yeah, looks so different with his beard. He's not the black guy. Yeah, he, and then, if know, you haven't seen was, that show, was, Sorry to taken. Bother You or whatever. Right, he was know. in Get Out. He was the one that was already, they already had him. Yep, in the beginning, and, and the first person. Yep. He snapped the picture and he fro- freaked out. His nose started bleeding. Yeah. Boom. Okay, anything else? Because so. Sorry to Bother You like that. That, okay, I never yeah. watched that. But and however, then also the photograph with. Uh, okay, okay. With Issa All right. Ray. So this is what I will say. Um, he looked way different. So I did not realize that was him with the beard and everything. Because in the movie, he didn't have no beard or anything. Okay. What I will say is, I thought it was the cutest thing. So basically, Ari's on live saying how her love life is sucks and you know like whatever whatever he gets on the live he was like let's go on a date whatever she likes freaks out she does like the cutest thing she's like really flustered she's like you know kind of like falsely panicking like trying to change the subject but it was super cute um you know and i just think that puts us in the topic of you know people not sharing those butterfly experiences anymore Mm -hmm. like or showing that side of them anymore like it's you know like somebody likes you and you're back in like elementary school those feels like I really like that. I thought it was the cutest video. Like, and it was hilarious because she's funny as hell for Man, how she played I, it. I ain't watched the video, but w- w- from what Alex was saying, I think it's cool that like girls are still showing that they are interested. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I, I mean, nowadays everybody want to be a hot girl or a fucking city girl. Mm-hmm. So it's like nobody has feelings. Yeah. So the fact that she had showing it was just it, so cute. Hopefully it's genuine, but I, yeah. you, know, you never know. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was dope that he put it out there on the live because I think some guys would have just DM'd her. Like on the side, and wouldn't right. have been like. But was he serious? You know, a lot of people. Yeah, he could have been playing, but I just think that hopefully, I don't know. Honestly, mm-hmm. I don't know if he was playing. I don't know if it followed up with a date after. Hopefully, we do see that. You know, I think that would be very dope to see that after. But if we don't see it, and I just, you know, I'm gonna assume for the good that it was serious. Like, yo, let's go on a date. Like, what's up? I think that is so bold, so cute, um, to just go for it. Like, you know, what I'm saying, if you like somebody, go for it. I mean, he might not even like her yet, but. Why not? They get the fuck. Go. Nah, facts. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go on to this Boosie situation. So first of all, Boosie was on Instagram wilding. My nigga had girls showing him titties, pussy. He sent him twenty five dollars. You know what I'm saying? But she sent it to the pussy, so he was like fifty. But I mean, I don't know if the pussy was that shit. Look, right? Fifty on. Wait. Put your pussy on Instagram right now. I give you a thousand dollars. I just had to say. I just had to say. That's how he said it. Yeah, he only that's, gave, that's what he, he said. He was. A, I'm just quoting him. He only gave her fifty dollars though. He, he was gonna get twenty five, but right. it's, and the niggas like, nah, you gotta get. Oh, so hold on, hold on, hold on. So man, you mean to tell me bitches is putting their pussy on the ground for twenty five dollars? I mean, it's people are putting titties for how much is OnlyFans? It's supposed, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's, oh. it's supposed to be your titties for twenty five, but oh, you she showed the pussy. Is. But I mean, you gotta, you can get a subscription for OnlyFans for like, for like Pennies. four ninety nine. Penny. I mean, we got that shit for free. What I mean? Ooh. 25? Show my pussy on the ground for $25? Girl, you ain't show your pussy on the ground for nothing. No, I'm, talking about? I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying, like, just the thought, like, 25? Don't even speak that, no. So, that's it? All right. We ain't talking What's about the, What is it worth? Like, that I mean, shit must look like, like... I mean, honestly, you fucking... That shit must look like baloney or some shit, like... No, our shit wasn't baloney. You look... You seen I, I, it? I mean, I saw it. What it look like? I mean, it's... Um, like, 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 like hood rat pussy. So the question is, uh, <laughs> yeah. So what's the question? Alex? And like hood rat pussy though. You know, uh, Boosie got really amped because somebody asked him about smoking Did you around smoke his in front of your kids. Absolutely. So I told you, I think like everybody think weed is like this extravagant, like the worst thing in the world that you can do. People don't smoke in public. Who think that? Everybody. So if you had a, if you had a, if you had a child. Would you smoke in front of your kids? I don't smoke in front of Amaya. For me, absolutely not. Right. But 
But I bet but you will, I'm I a pick, grown I bet woman, so pick, right. I want. I bet but, you will pick up a cup and drink in front of her. I would. So that's why I say I think people act like smoking is the worst thing in the world because you can okay. pick up your cup. But you let me pick, tell you, first of all, because obviously you're affected by smoking. If I put something in my cup, only I'm drinking it. If I smoke okay. in front of you, you can easily catch secondhand smoke. Exactly. And now I got my child high. Right. No, yeah, now you a like, that don't make sense. All right, all right, all right. That, like if I'm drinking, like I could drink wine, anything. I could put 1800. If I'm drinking this cup, this blue cup, I don't know what's in here. One, right. If I'm drinking it, she's not contacting oh, she anything. Oh, that's not getting fucked up. What? She knows. She ain't contacting anything, but she knows. Oh, no. Mine knows what's about going on over here. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is I wouldn't smoke in front of her. That It's stupid. Because like, of the secondhand smoke. Because of secondhand smoke. And she's not grown. Like, just to be but honest. But we like, drink she, in front of her. So what's the, so but, okay. besides so because, the secondhand smoke. Besides okay. that. Besides, okay. Okay. So like, this is what I'm going to say, right? Boom. The only actual shops, like right now, producing marijuana is what? CD? You know, what, what is it? The CBD yeah. shop? What, what is like? CBD, yeah. Well, with the medical shops, right? You could go the get There's Dispensaries. no Dispensaries. place that you can go get a leisure smoke. Where? Like, where can you go? Just like, I'm going to just roll J's and eat. And no, but every restaurant lounge, you could pick, like, you could. We ain't talking restaurants. Liquor. We no, do this in the house, is, though. This is what I'm saying, right? Because that is what's allowed, like, you can go to any restaurant and order a drink, but you cannot go to any place and just roll up a spliff in, in, in front of, and like, that's just not normal. Like, you can't do that. So would you rather- I'm not talking about Cali, fuck them. <laughs> would you rather expose not your child Cali. to- No, it's good. The, to smoking or drinking yourself and have like their first experience with you, or would you rather them go so, out and do it themselves so, and then so come I back? Smoke with, so I've been, I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been smoking since I was 13 years old. I smoked first with my dad and my brothers. And it was told to me that the only people you're allowed to smoke with was your dad and your brothers. That's how I got introduced to smoking. I'm also Trini and Jamaican. That's what we do. That's just, that's just my nature. Like I like, to me, that's why, like, when people look at smoking and what, like, I'm like, yo, I don't do this for fun or to be cute. Like, my family, sm like, that, my mom don't, but my dad and my brother, that's what they yeah. did. So, honestly, if my child was, like, older and she was like, mom, like, I'd be like, yeah, do it me first, to be honest, just to see how you are. Because some people smoke and don't even like it. Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of people smoke. I got friends who do not like smoking. Like, and it's okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Okay, that's cool. She might not even ever like smoking. Like, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to that, because I don't think there's nothing wrong with it in a way. Like, it's like some, it's not coke. It's not yeah. crack. Like, it ain't that. Like, fuck out of here. No. But, you know, we... Uh, yeah, I think for me it's just a uh, secondhand smoke. The fact that a child, yeah. and for me, I used to work with children, so it's like I'm not really sitting here and just roll a couple. Yeah, of no, they're kids. They're not children. grown. Yeah. But if my daughter was 16 and came home and was like, Mom, you know, they smoking in school. You know, I thought about it. You know what I'm saying? Because we, Cause you, you want know, her to be comfortable with I want her to be comfortable. Yeah. I'm like, all right, look, I smoke. Like, I, let, let's see if you like it. Because the one thing I do, I would have to know is how she does inher like inherit it and how she do. Because everybody takes the smoke differently. I know some people that do not function well off of smoke. At least she get the experience with me. Shit, like, right. what, like the, just real. The, like, the, so when it comes to smoking or any illegal substance, right? Outside of the legal age, right? What's the what's the age range that you would do with your child? I'm going to say 16. Yeah, I think for me, well, I don't have children yet, so it's, it's, I don't know, it's kind of different for me. But I think, I'll agree with y'all that just because I was thinking like They're high school. They're going to do what they want. Yeah, anyway. I was thinking yeah, about like high school. school time is around that time when you're going to be experimenting. And honestly, stuff. it's before then. So, honestly, yeah. so like, I know so bitches in middle school that, that was smoking. So like what, 14-ish? I'm, no, I'm a six, 16. Okay. Because like, see, the thing about my, these grades is very important. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I like, for me, it would be 16 because I have to know you're responsible enough to manage both. Now like, let me you know ask you a question. You're a junior. You're about to be a senior. I think you've had enough time. If you come to me talking about something, I'm like, oh, I'm interested. I, 16. And that's what I was going to ask. So let's say if your, do your daughter or, you know, anybody's child rather mm -hmm. comes and they're expressing to you like, hey, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. But you kind of see that it's a it's something that's like, you know, like we can do it. We can maintain yeah. working and all yeah. those things. But you can see that it's not something that's helping them, but it's something that they may be addicted to or like mm -hmm. to do when they socialize. Yeah. How would you go about how would you go about that as a parent? Like, do you kind of just sit down with them and keep continuing doing it with them? Or do you mm. nip it in the bud and be like, listen, it's dead. Like, you're not doing it. Well, so um, I'm not going to continue to do it with them at, at all. Um, but I'm going to just, like, I'm going to just have to be expressed very honestly. Like, I think you have a problem. And we're going to have to go ahead and get help about this. Because it's not, like, anything that's addicted. Like, the thing what I like about weed, so I don't have to do it. Like, it's not right. a necessity. Like, I don't have to be sitting here rolling up. Like, but if I'm out and, you know what I'm saying, I'm having a good time and I'm 
drinking, yeah, I might smoke a J. Like, so what? Like, you know, even even sometimes I come home from work, if I'm chilling, pour me up a glass of wine and I want to, in my own leisure, like, fine. But it's not a problem. You right. know what I'm saying? I think just to express to any child that anything done in excess, excessive measures that you cannot stop is a problem. That now, shit could be anything. What I think is, that shit could if, be a lot of things. Like, you so know what like I mean? So, like, if it's me, yeah. right, and, like, if I had to handle it from a parent's standpoint, if you're addicted to it and, first of all, if you come to me and you're addicted to it and I don't know, and you're like, let's say under the age that I think is acceptable, mm-hmm. but what do you think is grinding, acceptable? What's the age? That's all I was about to say. So like for me, I, it's a lot of leeway because I got my first tattoo at like my 13th birthday. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like you got some leeway. However, if I don't deem it, let's say hypothetically, I don't know where I might be. Like if, if Maya comes to me at 15, I don't know if I might. Yeah. If, but if I'm not okay with it, you either I mean people might not agree with this, but it's either, it's either you're gonna stop, or you're not gonna live with, you're not gonna stay here. Yeah. And, I, and I think it's also mm. tricky just knowing like who your child hang around. Yeah. Cause yeah, like me, real. me being from Baltimore is like me. Well, I'm a female, so I wouldn't have like at a young age, people trying to get me to smoke, but I know a lot of guys I grew up with, they yeah. started smoking like 11, yeah. 12. A long like, time ago. Was, yeah. yeah, yeah like like my, right my cousin was smoking at 12. Like yeah. I got my tattoo at 13. My cousin was probably smoking. I didn't smoke period because I played ball, but like, nah, yeah. but if, if, if I, if I feel like, again, I don't know because, and I mean, we this like stereotypes and um um double standards. Double standards are real, right? So like, I mean, Amaya is a girl. So if, like, if she came to me at like fifteen, I might not be okay with it. Period. Yeah. You know because I'm like, no. But I also, and, and people not, not might not agree with that. But, but that's just th- what it is. Yeah, it I is. also think it's a difference. Like when you're really active in your child's life, you could see any difference anyway. Because I don't give a fuck if Amaya blink wrong with the left eye. I know. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's facts. Like, and it's not. I'm not saying that there's every little thing that I'm gonna be able to just catch. But a lot of things I could notice by the change in her behavior if anything's going on. And I think a lot of parents, if you're very active in your child's life and you have a close relationship with them, like you can kind of see shifts like by default. Like so, being present through those times, like you know, keeping that door open, like what's going on like I see you know what I'm saying like and continuously making sure they know that you're there every step of the way they're gonna tell you one two like to be honest like I'm not really the you know I guess because it's my upbringing right so my mom's Jamaican like nothing goes like no like I said my mom didn't smoke my dad did right but my no like I used to come in smell like weed you smoke cigarette like just off the bat like I don't fucking smoke you know what I'm saying just off the rip like she was not going for nothing but I do have a different relationship with Amaya like you know what I'm saying I definitely am open to her making her own mistakes and you know us walking through that as a unit and as a team like not feeling alone through that process so if she ever did come like ma like you know i'm feeling you know what i'm saying like whatever that's something that i think most kids as long as they're not alone they can get through that i think a lot of kids suffer from that when they don't feel like they have anybody well i'm giving them my 18 because yeah. like i'm sorry i don't know it's just like she's so cute she likes skin oh, like mm, nah Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just like, mm-hmm. I, like, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm not the strict one though. That's crazy because like I'm not really the strict one. But like, nah. It's still, it's still the innocence yeah. Of a child. Yeah. It's yeah. still like the innocence of a child where you don't want to kind of just make them think that it's okay. Like, yeah. Even hell we yeah. Know we do hell it yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's like at 15, 16, you can't think the way I'm a think. Right. As a grown right. Woman right. Exactly. It the way I can exactly. It. But exactly. I mean, see, and me, I also I'm the type, think like, the other you, thing is being honest with your kid about your experiences. I don't think a lot of parents are that do that. Like they don't like you know when I like they might say oh I used to do this like you don't know nothing but like really letting them know like I let Amaya know a lot of things like so she's kind of like looking like like she's curious like to, not curious into a way of doing something but so she understands like what it comes with or what it attacks or what you can fall and of course she still want to make her own mistakes. I'm but the type I think that like if, if if you were to tell me before I found out and I don't like it, if hypothetically if it's weed, I won't make you eat. Three cookies, edibles. Yeah, three. Out of her, high, out of her mind, it's yeah, three. Probably okay. four. I would never advise that. That is murder. I, a, I mean, that I is ate murder. a whole cookie one day, <laughs> and let me fucking tell you. You want to be grown? I okay. ate a whole cookie one day, and I don't like edibles at all. Oh, Look, like you know, they're just not they do not that do just me reminded good. me of something no. else, my dad actually did that to me but it was yeah. it wasn't like eating three edibles though. it was like i was underage drinking i probably was like 15 came in the house extra saucy one day like i mean over it completely oh, you're gonna have this whole bottle the next up? day that was, my, that was my fault but you want to be grown you want like he was like he was not Ugh. playing with me but did you he didn't j- force me to drink it but he was like right there at the point like all right well come on you want to be grown like he was not playing so with how'd me. you do i was completely hung over at that moment so i couldn't handle much of anything See, but that was a lesson learned. Yeah, now, I would've, I would've, I would've, that was a lesson learned. Now he wasn't. Like, he didn't yeah, make me do it. I guess because I'm gun underage. On the table. But yeah. in the moment, I felt like he was going to make me do it. But the pressure yeah. of feeling it. Yeah. But or not the gun. Edibles. I mean, not. I mean, not. 
I'm gonna well, put I'll a belt on the table. I'm like, come on. Yeah, cause Jay full of shit. Cause he tried to make Amaya drink that tomato, that Bloody Mary after cussing, and she try? was like. She took it and like a thought, G. I was no, like, she oh did. my she was about to cry. She cried because you took her crab legs. She ain't cry over the Bloody Mary. She hated the Bloody Mary. No, she was upset because you took her crab legs away. <laughs> but we she call fucking right now. took those Bloody Mary shots like a G. She was like. Let's call it right now. Where, where we at, Alex? 110. Where we at? We about to be finished. Let's let's see. Yeah. Let's let's see if she took it like a G. She better answer the fucking phone. She gonna answer. Yes. Amaya. You on the podcast. I need you to be honest, okay? Okay. You remember those Bloody Mary shots? The what? The Bloody Mary shots that you took at uh, Red Lobster. Yeah. How was they? It was okay. Oh! She I know she, my child. She she I she, know she, my child. She, she tried to, she she to st- stump That was the, okay. Cause she, she did it. So, so, so you like? So, so, so you want you want to take some more today? I'm a good day. No, no. You want to take some more today? Look, like she want to flex now. Mm. Like she, I love like she follow me. Watch, I'm a recorder. Watch, like, Trent Lightly. You want to take some some more today? Sure. I bet. Cool. Look, like, I'm a record. I'm gonna I'm I'm get in a. Re- I see you later. We gonna get in a recorder. She like. You're not gonna do it. Cause she's her, she's her mother's child. Like, she's sure. like, about to put sure. me on the podcast. Cause I told you first of all, she did take a like a G. She don't want no more. But you're not about to call it. She am I not pussy? She like her mom. Period. Anyway, the biggest so where? Girl, you the biggest crybaby. With you, but to everybody else, y'all can get these hands. Anyway, so coronavirus checks. <sighs> Would you accept the check? Because Trump trying to give out these $1,000. You taking it or what? So the Gemini Scorpio podcast is a, because that's is that really a question. I'm asking. How do you feel about them? Ain't no way to feel. A thousand dollars. Yeah, let's get it. Right. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? Like, <laughs> would you take the check? Like, duh. Like, All right, yo. Episode zero eighteen is L period. Um, any more shout outs you want to give? Nah, man. Um, you know, I already know Gemini Scorpio podcast. Shout out to uh, shout out to Bel Air. Shout out to Milani, the brand. You know what I'm saying? I don't have it on. Shout out to Cashlin. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting us. Shout out to everybody that tuned into the Instagram live. Shout out to Cash Twenty Two. We already shouted out everybody. So, shout out to Melrose on her face. You already know. Monique on the screen. You already know. Well, I'm in on the camera. camera. Tyrone on the camera. <clears throat> so, about these goals. Oh, like, no. so what? There has to be a consequence for next week. Cause Facts. There has to be a Pull consequence. Pull up a double shot right now. <laughs> You're right. Pull up a double shot. There has to be right. a consequence Pull for next week. Shot. Both of us. Both of us. I'm going to take mine like a G. Come on. Get, All get, right. Can you get the crown? You're right. So, what? Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> we got anything nasty in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got y'all. Don't paper? worry, don't worry. No, we, no, got, no, some, we, got, we got some whiskey under we, the no, no, not in the middle. Whiskey. You got some, some oh, nasty. Oh, no, oh, now not whiskey, huh? Some nasty, something, something a consequence worthy, bro. Some, some consequence. In the middle, Alex. Some consequence worthy, Alex. Find it. Yep. Whiskey. Is that consequence worthy? Yes, it is. Because that shit potent in a Tim, motherfucker. That, that's that, why it's in the middle cabinet. Is that, ain't all right, take all right. It. Come on, come on, come on. I was going to say get an onion. Come on, come on. I'm not eating no. I do. But I drink that. Yeah, that ain't. All right, pull up this some bullshit. Yeah, it's in the cabinet. Let the people know what it is, because we don't know what the fuck this is. We don't know what it is. What's the name of this shit? This is. It don't even open. What is it? It's called. Blended Scotch Whiskey. Doors. True Scotch. Because we both both ain't get out. Jay, what the fuck are you pouring? (laughs) Double shot, because we, you know what I'm saying? Double, no. Yeah, we we both ain't, we both ain't, you know what I'm saying? I thought I had a heavy hand. I think Jay got heavy hand. <laughs> He's pouring the whole bottle. Is this enough? I'm going to let Alex choose. Is this enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah. See, Alex, nice. Come on. Because cause we both, because we both, because we failed, we failed our, um, what is it called? Goals. We fought, we failed our goals. Alex. I don't think this is enough. I don't think we're going to learn our lesson. Finish the bottle between we the two. We got to finish the bottle. I don't finish think we're going to learn our lesson for this. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, Shoda. I'm sorry. We ain't going to learn our lesson. I'm sorry, sis. We gotta learn our lesson. There you go. Is that enough? Would y'all like a little lime or something to go with that? No, no, no. Fuck. Man. We gotta learn our lesson. Cheers. I think. No. <laughs> All right. Damn. Hold up. I gotta pour a little bit more. Cause mine is so heavy. Don't do too much. Uh, that's it. Let me Cheers. see. Put it back down. Same. So for not completing our goals, and we gotta get some nastier shit than this. All right. Come on. Ever clear. Oh lord. For not completing our goals. You ready? Alex. Come on. Now, I like the way you're thinking. Come on. 
Gotta keep y'all on point. I know that. Come on, Shade. Look at her Ooh, that was nasty. <laughs> Come on, Seth. Mmm. <sighs> ah. Yeah, yo, yo that's crazy. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Come on. Nah, don't, nah, don't play. Now you gotta drink dirty water now. It's, nah, that's on you. Cheers. <laughs> Go ahead. You take you wasting time. You got it, girl. Oh my God. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Just drink it. The more you wait, the more the harder it's gonna be. Look, you you did that. Come on, you wasting time. I'm scared. Hurry I'm up, scared. please. <laughs> Don't drink it while I sip, babe. Yes. Drink the whole thing. Go, go, Put it all go, in your mouth. Go. Put it all your waist. You gotta drink mm. the whole thing. There you go. Like a G. Ooh. You ain't finish it. Finish the whole thing. <laughs> no, finish the whole thing. Come on, finish the whole thing. I'm gonna have her drunk. <laughs> Come on, finish the whole thing. Drink it. Drink it. The whole thing. Wait, let her get it down first so she don't throw up. That's right. Shake it off, sis. Shake it off. You see how she tried? Yeah, like how she tried. I saw that. She. Oh, that was nasty. Tim gave me this shit. Oh, yeah. Tim, what the fuck? Finish it. Finish the cup. It's a second. Go on. I'm not wasting your time if I throw it up and throw it up right on you. I've been throwing up one before. Facts. Come on. Uh, yeah, that's so nasty. Shout out that's to accountability, you know what I mean? That's, that's, we appreciate that's y'all. Good job. All right, we got new goals this week. <laughs> you better think, you better, you better choose wisely. Okay. <laughs> Is somebody getting some to drink? Well, we, we, what's our goals this week? Getting in the gym. You sure? Yeah. Because you ain't getting in the gym last time and it cost you me You ain't that. do two rounds either. And it cost me this. God damn. What's your goals? What's your new goals? My goal is going to be, I kind of want to go again because I, I was ready last night. All right, so we doubling it up. But if y'all don't do it this time. You going to bring up? Two double shots. Two double shots. Uh, we're going to do Everclear. I'm about to be of Everclear. I'm getting my shit out the way today. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Please. We out eight. Thanks, Monique. Ooh, chop. Thought it was. So look, uh, hey, come on, man. Come, come on, on, come on. The Gemini Scorpio Podcast 018. The Gemini uh, Scorpio Podcast 018. Make sure you follow us at the Gemini Scorpio Pod. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you, Mr. J. Hill. Sick Bay. <laughs> Hiller Bay. Hiller We're going to double down. In the gym, how many times? Three times. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. Don't help me. Because you don't help me. Say less, because she's going to take a shot next week, because the gym closed. Cool. Say less. <laughs> Say less. So, gym, so, gym, no, 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 no. I'm doing at-home nah. workouts. I, don't help you, no. Nah. Don't help you, no. Nah. I'm doing at-home workouts. She said the gym. But you can don't do the same you. thing in the gym, nah, and I, I can do a lot gym, of things though. like the gym. Nah, you said don't help All right, but I forgot. Like, nah, help it, me out it's, here. It's too late. Well, whose side are you on? I was on your side. No, you weren't. But you wasn't on my side. I said, I'm going to help you out. You said, don't help you out. All right, help me, please. Nah, it's over. So, the gym. Three to four times a week. I'm not going to the gym. At home workouts is what I said. No, the gym. I'm working four. out. The gym. It's closed. Like, what can I do? You better find one that's open. I'm the not gym, three to four times you at a- all this week. Oh, All right, working out three to four <laughs> times a week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Twice in one Saturday. The Gym and I, Scorpio Pod. Thank you for tuning in. Zero 018. We, we appreciate out. it. We out.